Oh. I saw Richard lighting up. Are you trying to say something to the urine? Yeah. But you asked oh, this um... dumbass to go, hey, do hey, some hey, research. Hey, you're, you're in Bro, just, just a second. go just, ask just, a doctor just, in just, real just life. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to know if you like make your kids drink your own piss. Oh, is this making games? Bro! Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you recognize me. That's oh my god! I, I, is, this, like is this word salad boy again? <laughs> to stop a person from asking someone like Do a doctor? Do oh my god! Yeah, dude, wait, no, 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 wait, now? What? What's that? <laughs> no, I'm You're saying, saying why would I... is bad for you now. No, I'm saying why do I want them to get sick? <laughs> okay, well, you said your wife drank your own piss. I'm just wondering why you wouldn't make your kids drink your own piss if you're saying it's healthy. It is. Okay, so piss makes kids sick, but adults, piss is good for them? No, I said why would I want my kids not to do it? <laughs> Okay, so sick. I'm just asking you a very simple, straightforward question. Do you have your kids drink your own piss? Is that bro buddy there laughing his head off? Dude, it's a yes or no question. Do you have your kids drink your own piss? Of course. Wow. You you have your kids drink your piss. And I and they do it in school, and you know what the school did? Just provided them as many cups as they wanted with straws. Okay, somebody should this report you to, uh, like, some fucking thing. Do you know why? Thing. Do you, Do you eat your why? own shit? Do you eat your own shit? Can I ask you that? Oh, here we go. Bro! Dude, all if you... It, you okay, dude, you know what? I heard... Doctor. Dude, Not you know what? I heard, uh, dippy. cum is good for your fucking teeth. It makes your teeth white. Would you make your fucking kids, uh, you know, drink your own fucking <laughs> semen to make sure they don't have to go to the dentist? Oh. Fuck, that's... That's like, like you don't think it's you don't think it's child abuse to make your kids drink your fucking secretions? Oh, is that is that where this is going now? That my that I'm getting that not only are my kids drinking urine, but I'm making them blow me. Is that it? No, I'm saying if you I'm just force your kids like, to drink any of your fucking bodily secretions, that's abuse. I don't care if it's no, piss or semen. No, they drink their own urine. They don't drink my urine. They drink their own urine. <laughs> Oh okay, well, like, are you uh, retarded or something? Do you have, like, autism? Like, I, I just asked you a very straightforward question. What, what, and what's that? Answer. I'm sorry, I missed it. Somewhere. First, you said if I jerk off in my kid's mouth, and I thought that was pretty low and blow in there. <laughs> and I didn't, and I don't, I didn't, didn't know how to answer that, so I said, I don't, th I, that's pretty sick and disgusting, even for my standards. So, where did you get this idea that drinking piss cures fish allergies? Uh, actually, I got this idea about 15 years ago. Okay, does it cure other allergies? Uh, really, what about HIV? A HIV is a man-made disease. Okay, well, does urine cure it? Does drinking your own piss cure HIV? It's a monkey-made disease. Cure, urine will cure anything wrong with you. But it will not cure something that man invented. Uh, HIV and syphilis is off the list. Everything else it will. Why is syphilis off the list? It's not man made. Uh, sorry, not syphilis. Uh, hepatitis. My apologies. You're right. Hepatitis is man made? Hepatitis. Okay, how, how would you come to that conclusion? Because piss can't cure it. Piss will cure anything that's wrong with you that's, that man was ever intended to run into. Okay, so drinking your own urine will cure syphilis? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where's the evidence for that? Again, where's, again, you, you want a medical peer review to go you know? wipe out any possibility <laughs> Of them stifling. Well, no, I, I didn't even ask you for medical evidence. I just asked you where's the evidence for that. Okay, and I'm going to say YouTube, and you're going to giggle, right? Get okay, ready. show me the video. Giggle. Well, show me the I'm video of somebody YouTube. curing syphilis on YouTube with their own piss. 
sure it's there. I would I would ask allegedly Dave, and he'll point you in the right direction. He'd be the guy who can point you. Write down his name, allegedly. If you're honestly interested, if this is not like, if this isn't some sort of troll bullshit, if you honestly care, I would personally go and ask allegedly Dave, and he will point you at someone who's run into that particular story in their own life. I have a, a really hard time believing this because I know urine therapy has existed for a very long time. Like, I think you're talking the thousands of, time, of years. Yeah. Um, like, people have used urine to like for like to treat like dental issues, uh, you know, skin hair issues. That's so the outside, how the hell, yeah. like, how 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 the hell hasn't this like reached the point where, you know, it, it's just part of popular culture where urine you know, can treat syphilis when... Uh, because there's no money in it. Well, it do, well, it doesn't matter if there's money in it. I mean, you're talking about a what disease mean, that's existed matter? for thousands of years, and you're talking you about a practice matter? that's existed for thousands of years. How do you keep well, a doctor on a golf course if money doesn't matter? Dude, the this disease and urine therapy has existed before, like, money has existed. So I don't, I don't understand how you can say that, oh, it's just for the money, when... Urine therapy is being used before money existed, and syphilis has existed before money existed. Ah, yeah. See, so look, on, like again, like look again, dude. Based, if urine therapy was a knowledge. common thing, dude. If urine therapy was a common thing, and syphilis was also obviously a common thing, how wouldn't it have reached the point of just being part of popular culture? That yeah, guess what? Like you know, you're tr drinking your own urine treats syphilis. It's a wonder. It's a wonderful circle that has problems, and as long as you don't address those problems, you get a wonderful continuity, and it looks like a perfect circle there, doesn't it? That look, we started out with syphilis cannot be cured, and then I ranted and raved with not one single shred of evidence, and in the end, zippity do the look. There's no cure, so don't bother looking for it. And in case. You, well, like syphilis said, is curable with if you do, If you have someone out there who has syphilis, I'd go to someone like allegedly Dave, and he'll point you at a person who's cured okay. syphilis in person. And he'll say, yep, drank the piss, cured my syphilis. And okay, well, you're, you're not answering my question. What? I mean, syphilis I has existed for know? a very long time, thousands of years, and urine therapy has existed for thousands of years. I mean, syphilis was a horrible, That's, horrible fucking ah, disease that everybody was trying to cure. There's your break in the circle. Stop. There's your first break in the circle because, see, less than uh, just before the start of World War II in, our, in your North American school and... English, British, and Australian ones to boot. They were teaching the earth was flat in school. Now look what they managed to do in about a hundred years. So you're not answering so now, my question. So now, I don't know what so, flat earth has to do so with I this. Don't so know. I'm, I'm I don't asking know you what they stuffed into your medical journals because your well, I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you're going on about flat earth. Again, I'm just asking you a very simple question. Like, okay. syphilis has existed for thousands of years. Urine therapy yep. has existed for th thousands of years. I find it hard to believe that no one would have come to the conclusion that urine therapy cures syphilis when both of these things were common practices for a very long time. And there was a huge interest in finding a cure for syphilis. And when? this was before there was even any fucking financial... How do you know that that wasn't a story put forward just to start wiping out or sponging out any ability that urine could have had as far as that gaining any ground? Okay, you, you're, you're not answering my question. Story, you're, you're not, again, you know you're not answering my question. I'm asking like you, syphilis has existed for thousands of years. Urine How therapy you know has that? existed for thousands were you, of years. Were you around a thousand years ago? Well, you, well, no, we actually have accounts history. of syphilis like from thousands of years ago. This, We know for a fact this disease existed for thousands of years. So, like no, we, we actually have medical accounts of people dealing with syphilis. The entire medical industry was made up and forged the moment the Rockefellers got involved. And the okay, well, the Rockefellers didn't exist like 2,000 years ago. So, exactly. I, again, I don't know what you're talking about.
but 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 neither did dude, you. Dude, 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 stop stop filibustering and going off into like I'm random tangents. I'm saying to you, I'm asking let's, you let's if you're in look therapy at what so they common, were able to so do common. in less than a hundred years. Dude, dude, no, 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 no. Answer the question. Just give me some what? sort of answer. Uh, stop, stop going off into random tangents. I don't know. Tangent. Sit Why they so wouldn't you look up? at urine as a cure when it would have cured a ma a non man made disease? As long as it's not a man made disease, it'll cure it. It's a very simple thing. But you've got people like this who are now trying to give you a bullshit circle of evidence, going of reason, going look, it cannot okay. cure it. Okay, so well, don't look. even bother looking for a cure, what I'm saying. Okay, well, look, before there was the smallpox vaccine, it was actually common knowledge that if you were to get cowpox, uh, you are immune to smallpox. So cowpox was something that a lot of um, people got if they worked with cows, and it was just oh, these warts I'm on your hand, basically. Pox, pox, that, actually, right. that actually immunized you. That actually, no, I'm talking about cowpox. I know what chickenpox are, but there was a thing called cowpox, it's something that it's a infection that cows often get around their udders, and okay. these people who worked in the dairy industry, they'd often get cowpox, and it was basically these warts that just they were a bit itchy that were that formed around their hands. It was common knowledge that if you were to get cowpox, that would actually immunize you from smallpox, which is obviously a much more serious, deadly disease. So here's an example of just like just cult like just normal cultural things becoming popularized and people figuring out about how to prevent and treat a disease uh, and and that had nothing to do with any kind of financial incentive so again i find it really hard to believe that urine therapy has existed for thousands of years a very freaking long time and absolutely no one you can't find any historical account of somebody saying they cured syphilis with uh with urine therapy Why can't you find one single historical account? But you can find historical accounts of people immunizing themselves from smallpox just by intentionally getting cowpox, either by uh, milking cows or just coming into close contact, like rubbing somebody's hands who has cowpox. Like, don't you think that would have just been an obvious thing that somebody would have come across? Like, somebody might have had syphilis, but then they tried urine therapy to treat some other illness they had, and then it turned out the urine therapy cured syphilis. Like, don't you think that would have been something that you'd expect to happen over the course of thousands of... Did the piss guy leave? Where's the piss guy? Oh, wow. Okay, so I guess I shut him up. He might have come back. No, no, he's, no, back. he's, he's back. back. I don't think someone like that understands when they've lost the argument so i don't think you'll all like right it. you get tossed out of the room no no one no one tossed you out it was just some kind of technical issue we would never do that to someone who's in the middle of a debate not you okay. the people who run the server oh he runs the server. Server. NASA or they, they they don't want the moment something so clearly you said something good about smallpox that i wasn't supposed to okay did you hear everything i said or do i have to repeat myself about smallpox uh the fact that you get chicken pox. Okay, no. Okay, pox. okay. I'll just explain myself again. No, I'll very just tell briefly. you, you get cow. Your hands get itchy with cow pox, but if you get cow pox, you get chicken. Pox. No, that's not what I said. I said oh. that if you get cow pox, it immunizes you from smallpox, which is a much more deadly disease. And oh. this just became this just became like conventional, popular wisdom, and with that, just cultural knowledge. People ended up uh, developing a smallpox vaccine that was just based on small, uh, based on uh, cowpox. That was, I think, the first vaccine that was ever invented. So again, like if that sort of thing can happen, where people just start oh noticing, oh, God, I get cowpox, and then it immunizes me from smallpox. Why oh. hasn't the same thing happened with syphilis? Where you'd expect over the course of thousands of years, someone with syphilis would do urine therapy uh, to try to treat some other illness, and then they notice, oh, hey, I did this urine therapy in my smallpox, or sorry, not my smallpox. Probably did. Never get published. So why why is there not one single historical account of that ever happening? Like I said, it probably happened. It got published. And why isn't there one single historical account? Because big pharma is out to no, stop no, no, no. it. This was 
before this was before medicine. What are you talking about? What do you mean before medicine? This was before cancer was before medicine too. Before medicine. Why don't like, you the give the same circular about? reasoning for cancer? About big pharma. What are you talking about big pharma for? Like, look, um, what was because it? Because like, like, where's the Hippocrates? Oh. I think Hippocrates, he actually popularized uh, a method wow. of detecting diabetes by uh, wow. drinking urine. And if the urine tasted sweet, that's how you detect a diabetes. Like, I mean, none of these sorts of treatments require any money. There, there's no money to be earned by drinking somebody's urine and testing them for diabetes that way. Like, there, there are medical treatments that people have come up with in ancient times that had nothing to do with profiting off of someone. So again, like this is before modern medicine. There's no big pharma to prevent somebody from wow. that urine therapy can treat syphilis. Was cancer around your two thousand years ago? Uh, yeah, it existed two thousand years ago. Would you like I, to I, give I, the same I, circular I, bullshit for cancer? Tangent? Why are you going off into a tangent? Well, you went off into a tangent. I said cancer. It'll cure any, it's a one-stop shop for cancer. Okay, that's right. And then why you're like, not off you go on some other reference. shit that I never why even bothered. Why is there not bothered? one single historical reference to urine therapy being used to treat syphilis? I don't know. I never gave a fuck about syphilis until now. Okay, uh, is there one single historical reference to urine being uh, used to treat cancer? Loads. What? And Loads, I said. And okay, cool. Can you show on, me one? And they're all on YouTube. Okay, well, if it's a historical reference, like, y you can't point me towards, like, some sort of archaeology journal? No. O okay, so YouTube has existed since, like, what, 2005? I know. Or I know. I so know. that's what you call a historical reference, 2005? No, I'm, I'm, ca I'm calling basically the fact that whenever... Most people are interested in stuff that I keep saying YouTube. They were happy with YouTube. And now they fire shills at well, me. Well, I'm going, asking you for a historical reference. And you just go, we want YouTube paper product to wipe our ass with. So the YouTube way, isn't a historical reference. It's existed for only like, what, 15 years? Whatever, dude. Sorry. That, that's not a historical reference. I you was doing it. Tons. I was doing okay, it. Well, Long before YouTube, right. not by much, but but at least I was doing it before YouTube told me about it. Uh, okay, you know what? I think I'm done. You, you just keep going off into random tangents. Well, I you, told you, you it's a cure. I have absolutely no explanation for any of these things. What do you want? You want a medical oh, cure? It's never gonna oh, no, happen. No. Look, I, I just want a, a historical reference. That's all I'm asking for. It got spun. Right, oh, right. Okay, so all the historical references. Well, have what, been what would be the benefit? History, but there are plenty of other medical treatments like uh, testing for diabetes using just by tasting somebody's urine. That's a but very not the cure for diabetes. Go to yourself. No, no, no. That's that's actually totally false. Um, eating beans the, was actually a very early treatment for uh, for treating type two diabetes. So what are you talking so, about? No so way. Sorry. No, no your, way your, that we can. <clears throat> there's no way we can for, use the term. You sorry. Yourself, one second. Hello. Diabetes. Hello, please, come on. There's no way we Whoa. can use the term wiped from history. We absolutely have to use the term yellow wash. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Thank you. Okay, well, no, like, again, you're full of shit. Um, so this, again, was in ancient Greece. Uh, I can't remember who. It might have been Hippocrates. Let, no, I think it... I don't care. I'm telling it you. It might have been Hippocrates. It's said, my let own food life. In ancient Greece, and again, uh, this is a very ancient treatment for type two diabetes, or, or even type one diabetes. I think uh, eating beans and lentils—that was a treatment for type two diabetes. It's a beneficial food for controlling blood sugar. So, what are you talking about? It's still it's still asking you to go and buy a product, right? Oh, okay. So, a natural remedy that costs virtually nothing. It's asking you to buy a product. So, is there now Big Bean, the Big Bean industry? The Big Bean industry is behind it? No. I'm saying to you that whoever, Okay, is it possible? Is it as possible? Long as, there, as, there, is it as, possible that there are other methods to treat disease that don't involve urine? 
Yes, but they're a lot harder. Okay, so okay, so wait, wait, wait. You're saying that there's some sort of financial incentive to tell people that something like beans can help treat a disease. No. So you're you're admitting you're admitting that there are other ways to treat I a never disease. Said that. You're the urine. one who's babbling this, not me. You literally just said that. No, I'm telling you. Literally just accused, you know, ancient uh like ancient doctors of supporting the big bean industry when they use beans as a treatment for something I like that. I said he's still asking you to buy something. Okay, okay, limit. okay, wait, 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 wait. That's um, all I said. Wait. It's still asking you to buy something. Okay, so, okay, so, again, you admitted that there are other ways to treat disease other than urine. So, what are you talking about? Um, if beans work, if there's an ancient historical reference to this, then what's the issue? Okay, so you have to buy beans. Well, people have to eat. So like an, a natural product Once that's incredibly month. inexpensive that by Once the way, these month. doctors weren't freaking selling. Can you say that? Once a month? What? If you only have to eat once a month, the rest of the time, technically you can go, you can drink your urine for 30 days and then you do have to. So you do have to I, eat I don't once know a month. Why the fuck you're talking about urine? Uh, I said, like, and you're, well, you're, you're asking if you're accusing urine. these ancient. You're accusing these like ancient. I, I guess you could call them doctors by today's standard. You're accusing them of having some sort of financial bias. Well, they weren't bean farmers. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, I have um, to ask about this guy's diet. Are Are you saying that like is that actually your diet? That most days you just drink your own piss, and then once a month you eat. <laughs> No, I, I did that for 18 days straight once. And now I'm on about half. Half and half? Half, yeah. half piss, half food? Yeah, about that. Okay. <laughs> Don't question it. Don't question what it. What in the fuck? <laughs> Toothpaste also a scam. Do you use your own shit to brush your teeth? No. Okay, so toothpaste isn't a scam? How do you know that? Oh, the fluoride in your... Well, you can get non -flor uh, fluoridated toothpaste. So very is that a scam? Hard. Actually, you very use hard. Your own shit as toothpaste. Very hard. Dude. Wait, hold on. Let me see how hard this is. Odds are, if if your toothpaste has a fluoride disclaimer on the back, oh. it's got fluoride. Amazon.com, uh, fluoride-free anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. That wasn't so hard. Oh, okay. As long as you, as long as you ask for it. But if you walk into your typical store, I have. But you said it's very hard to get it. Do you take that back? No. Okay. So what's very hard to get about typing into Google "non-fluoridated toothpaste order" and then That's having true. they the did first make they like... did make it fairly simple. But I'm curious what else they put. Into See, toothpaste, target, they're willing. They're willing to sell to the mass market. Wait, is he is he saying that the easily accessible fluoride-free toothpaste is contaminated with something else? I would I would go with that. It okay, would be a just, cool. Just checking. Let's, I, let's I know let how to continue so, talking to Richard though. I was I was loving that. I would I would go with the fact that if they're willing to sell it to the mass market. They got to be throwing something else in there since their entire goal is if they're going to mass market it, it has to be bad. So the only way to sell something is it has to be bad for you? I have noticed that to be the number okay, one. So, okay, so do you pay for water? Do you pay for electricity? Do you pay for food? Uh, do you pay for all of those basic utilities? Actually, yeah, you do pay for them in tax. So it's all bad for you, right? But here's you the catch: every, 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 every company, every company that that cleans the water for the city will tell you you shouldn't drink the water that's coming out of your tap. Yeah, cool story. Um, so, so Someone drinking told me water that. is bad for you because you have to pay for it. Uh, eating, uh, eating food is bad for you because you have to pay for it. Uh, apparently, uh, you know, having a car, having electricity, having anything that you have to pay for is bad for. you. What if you broke your leg and you had to pay a doctor to uh, give you surgery to uh, put your leg back together? Is that bad for you too? Should you just walk around with a broken leg that's uh, crooked your, the rest of your life because you have to no, pay for it? No, welcome to Canada. It's free here. 
Well, it's not free. You have to pay for it with your fucking taxes. What are you exactly. talking about? Exactly. Just like wait, the fucking water. Even if you, wait, even if you, if you broke your leg, why would you go to a doctor? Why wouldn't you just drink your own urine? <laughs> because yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't manager. work that fast. It's a, I natural, wish. it's a natural ailment. What are you talking it, about? It'll urine speed it up. No, hang on. It does speed up your you, bone you, break. You, wait, you say, you're, saying that, you're saying that piss gives you speed regen? Kind of like Wolverine? No, it gives you... Yeah, because... <laughs> Oh, when okay, I, I when I gotcha, did break I my leg, when I did break my leg, and they said, "Come back," in, what is it, six to eight weeks? Yeah, you just drank a bunch of piss, and it's increased. Why and then it, I, why and then I came, I came so back, and I came back. No, no, hang on, I came back in four weeks, exactly one month to the date, and they said your appointment isn't. For another month, I go, yeah, but what I do speeds things up. I'd like to get an extra. No, no, look, dude, um, <laughs> bones healed in that time. I had, um, I had a surgery where they actually had to break part of my bone and then uh, put it in another spot. It it fused in four weeks, so there's oh, nothing. Cool. There's nothing to urine fit therapy. That's just you were clearly drinking your own piss, dude. Stop no, but they drink. told me to come back <laughs> in six days. They made an appointment for me two months down the road. Yeah, sure, that's normal. Okay, and it and it fixed itself in a month. What do you mean? So bones can fuse within four weeks. So what are you talking about? Well, why did they tell me to wait? Piss. Why did I they tell me to piss. wait an My extra bone month? Fuse in within four weeks. So what are you why talking? Why did they tell? Me, why did they tell me to wait a month? You mean wait two months? Sorry, an extra month. Well, well, that's because they probably have to book appointments, and the only fucking time they had for the appointment was two months uh, in, in oh, advance. Oh, no, I showed up early. They took me. Okay, did you go to emergency? No. Or a walk-in clinic? No, same place I was supposed to be scheduled for in the hospital, but it's upstairs in the... Okay, in, I, I, do you live in, in Canada? The, yeah. Okay, so like, what the hell are you talking about? They they made an appointment scheduled for two months, you know, ahead, of, uh, like two months down the road, because that's probably the most convenient time they could schedule in for. All right. Because all of their other appointments are booked. But if you go to a walk-in clinic, or if you go, no, to I went to the same hospital. Then, if you go to a walk-in clinic or an emergency, then yeah, they can see you right away, but you have to just wait longer. So what are you talking like? Oh, dude, I know how the walk- fucking medical system works in Canada. I you walk up to here. Canada. You so have to wait longer, longer anyways. Fucking nonsense. You have to wait longer anyways. Okay, dude, you're not answering my question. Did you go Why? to a walk-in clinic or did you go to the emergency wing at a hospital? No, I went to the same place I would have went. Right, you're not answering my question. Did you go to a walk-in clinic or did you nope. go to the emergency I went wing? To the, I went to the out clinic at the hospital. Okay, cool. So you literally just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're, you're the, just completely fucking delusional. On the fourth floor, you go up, and that's where they deal with broken bones. Yeah, and you're not fucking answering my question, uh, and you're just completely delusional. I don't delusional. know. I went you to literally the, I went to the, the hospital where they have an outpatient yeah, department. Yeah, cool, and you literally don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And they said, wait two months. I waited a month. And they said, we have you booked in a month. And I said, yeah. He's not so what I what I do doubles the speed. They go okie dokie, let's go for it. Dude, extra. I had surgery where they had to break off part of my bone and shift it, and I had an appointment scheduled for four weeks later, and they did an X ray, and my bone was fused, and that that was without drinking urine. It is normal for a bone to fuse within four weeks. Cool. Why they wait? Make me wait. Because that's just when th- that was the most convenient time they had to schedule the appointment. Right. They, there are other people other than you ha- who have to schedule appointments. Okay. They took me in a month early. That's okay, a- dude. Uh, no, okay. Look, Same place. Can you give me evidence? Can you give me evidence that it takes a normal person for their bones to feed uh, two months for their bones to feed? No, I tell people that whatever. Okay, they can you told give me you, evidence? Can you give me you evidence cut it in that half. your bones healed faster than a normal person's bones? I don't know. Okay, if you don't know, then why the fuck are you making this claim? I'm, I'm, I'm you, telling you, my bones fused within four weeks of getting okay, my bones okay, broken. Okay. That is a normal rate of speed for bone healing. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so then what the fuck does this have to do with you drinking piss and it giving you super magical healing powers? I said whatever number they give you at the hospital, you cut it in half. That's all I okay, said. Okay, so that has nothing to do with so whatever, so that it, piss so gives if, you magical healing powers. No, whatever number, I just said that if you want to, you can cut whatever number they give you in half at the hospital. So if they say eight months with a broken leg, you can cut it down to four. If they say whatever, you're, you're not answering my question. Where's the evidence? Bone. No, you're not answering my question. Where's the evidence that drinking piss in, increases the speed of bone healing? Well, the the what is it? the less than half dozen people I told this to in my life, I think one or two have tried it, and both came back going, "You're right." And never stopped after that. Yeah, okay, so you didn't mention anything about bone healing. So why are you going off on an irrelevant tangent? So again, where's two the evidence two, two that people, drinking piss accelerates bone healing? Two people that were given a lot, that had a broken bone that was given, that were given a long time to cure. I told both of them you could cut the numbers in half and both of okay, them. where's the evidence the that it half. actually accelerated their bone healing? I'm telling you, it's normal for a bone to fuse after it's been broken within four weeks. Okay. So where's the evidence that it actually accelerated bone healing? Uh, I also, don't, I, I have well, one curiosity like question for you. How old are these kids who you've got drinking their own urine? Now? Yeah. Blake's, Blake's 16... Grace is 14 and Molly's 12. And you uh, had them drinking piss for how much of their lives? Two years old. You start. Is Avi in here? Since two years old. He's probably in You here. start. Well, yeah, I'm in. You I'm can't in get here. all I of went, it at two. I went geez. with this guy. I went with this guy already. Basically, yeah, like, we got to the point where. I asked him if there's anything that could change his mind, and he basically told me, like, nothing will change my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, I saw well, that. How, but, how like, do you am change I not wrong? Like, a am I not right that that's a normal rate of bone healing that you can expect a bone to fuse in four weeks? I don't know. Yeah, bones. A bone can a bone will fuse in four weeks, but his he's claiming that if you drank your urine, it'll fuse in two. Yeah, it gives Is you it speed whatever energy. the doctor tells you, cut it in half. <laughs> and also, so doctor, okay. So if the doctor tells you your bones will be healed tomorrow, that means it'll take twelve hours. There you go. <laughs> okay, so, okay, wait, wait, wait. If you break a bone and a doctor tells you it'll be healed tomorrow, that means your bone will heal in 12 hours if you drink your own piss. Well, see, there you go. All you got to do is find a doctor who will cure your broken bone in 12 hours. Well, no, you said if the doctor says it, you, does, it, you didn't even mention it having to be true. If the doctor oh, says it, it will cut it in half. Simon says. I never said Simon says. I said, well, you, first of all, you're in a hospital. And a doctor will be standing there, and if a doctor who is standing there in person says it'll be cured tomorrow, it'll be cured in 12 hours. I, I just, I have a lot of these, like, logistical <laughs> kind of questions for him. Like, I'm sorry to derail just for a second, but, like, I mean, to have urine on deck all the time, you must have, like, a whole system set up. Like, do you store it in, <laughs> in like, jugs and keep it in your fridge? Like, how do you do this? I'm not following. Straight from tap. Well, I'm not, you, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, do you just do you just like what? You just bend over and pee into your mouth, or do you actually like? <laughs> do you well, actually, no, like, I, I I cheat. I I piss in a cup and then I drink from the cup. And do you it's... store any of it? Why? I don't know. For later. It's okay. good for about an hour, and then it's not. I mean, you can use uh, it you for have other to drink things. It fresh. You gotta drink fresh urine. Okay, just, yeah. just making sure. Okay, no, you can use it for cleaning. It's got cleaning properties if you want to use Whoa, it that wait, way. What do you, what do you, what surfaces do you spread your urine on to clean them? That you can clean with? Yeah, what do you clean in your house with your urine? Oh, with uh, we, what we do. Uh, quite a lot of... Th so, like what? I'm, that is disgusting as fuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I'm Dude, just not... you're literally covering your whole house with fucking piss. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, okay, dude, you're like, you I'm dude, 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 bro. No, 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 dude, you, you the bro you're, guy? 
Are you the same uh, bro I'm, guy? I, I'm sorry, can we come back? Like you sound like a bro guy. guy. I know, I just, bro, I you the bro what, guy? I just, no, who knows? He's just, he's just some person. It's, it's Orin, but like... Well, I'm the just, first guy was going bro, bro, just bro, like bro, this guy's cares, going dude. Who cares, who cares, who cares? I just... What, what, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering what you clean with urine in your house. Like, you wipe it on floors? Uh, Do you clean, like, your body? Yes. Like, what are we talking about? Yes. Okay, well, well, dude, if urine is so, if urine is don't... cleansing, then why, like, are you telling me that gas station bathrooms are, like, the cleanest places possible <laughs> because people <laughs> miss the fucking toilet everywhere and piss all over the place? If it wasn't for the shit, you know, here's the thing, they'll say there's billions upon billions of these chemicals, or sorry, not chemicals, of these, uh, uh, uh of these bacteria that you're touching in a, in a, in a urinal. But how many of these bacteria are actually bad for you? They don't tell you. They actually they covered that on Mythbusters. Billions and you. billions of bacteria you're touching in the urinal. Every okay, square okay, is so dude, there. would you lick a urinal? Probably not, no. Okay, well, I thought it was clean. <laughs> not that clean, dude. If it was well, my own urinal, hang on, you, if you it was my own me, urinal, wait, you just told absolutely. Me, you just told me. You just told me that piss will cure any ma like any disease that's not made by man. So if it's that clean, if it has that those sorts of healing properties, why wouldn't you lick a urinal if it's totally clean? Well, first of all, you don't know how long the urine's been there before the hand, and two. Okay, who, wait, wait. So what if the guy who, who, who pissed before you actually had blood in their in their urine? Wait, you're telling me urine goes bad? Urine goes bad. I said about an hour. It's good for about an hour. Okay, well, if it's good for an hour, then what do you do with the fucking piss that you use to clean surfaces in your house? Well, see, like I said, those, you could do whatever. I said as far as consumption, it's good for about an hour. You can use it for cleaning for as long as until you flush it down the drain. It'll be good for cleaning. Okay, wait, like, if you're using it as a cleaning product, then wiping it on a surface and leaving it there, that would become unsanitary then. Leaving it there, let the urine do its job, wipe it off, done. Okay, wait, so you wipe urine on surfaces and then you use a cleaning product to clean off the urine. No. So wouldn't that why, make no, why, why wouldn't you skip whoa, whoa, a step? No. Wait, why wouldn't you skip a step and just use a no. cleaning product? Who says I use cleaning product? Where the fuck is this retarded so you, okay, cleaning so product? You spray urine on like on your fucking dishes and then you just rinse them under the sink with water. We don't make that much urine to get to get dish soap going. Sorry. Oh, I see. So you don't like piss on your your dishes in the sink. You could, but like I said, we don't make enough urine to get dish soap going. Do you know what soap is? Yeah, quite okay, well. Okay, so how the fuck is urine soap? I said, you can make dish soap out of it, just like you know you take. Bunch of lye if you want. Make a whole bunch of soap up with urine. I'm sure you could if you if if you if you sat down and figured thought about it. I'm sure that it's possible. We use tea tree oil soap that we make ourselves. But as far as urine soap goes, it could be done. But soap urine automatically has uh, a substance which resembles uh, ammonia. Not ammonia, but it resembles ammonia, and it works just like ammonia, only your body makes it. So whatever you want to use to clean with ammonia, you piss on it. Wait however long it takes for the piss to take it off. Take it off. And how do you take it off? With a rag. Okay, so basically you just use a wet rag and you leave piss there. Well, dry rag and it gets wet as you wipe the stuff off. The rag is well, dry. Well, the piss is still there. Well, yeah, but as the piss sees, because there's piss there and the rag is there to remove the piss. How well, do you, you do can't it? remove all the piss. Why? Because you're just using a rag. 
it, it, there's still going to be piss residue there. Like, it, look, if there was a crime scene and you tr- you tried to murder somebody yeah, and you cleaned is- up the blood with your own urine and you only got a dry rag to fucking soak up the urine, guess what? CSI is going to find out there's piss no, on the floor. that's true. That's true. You're right. But But here's the thing. Urine isn't bad for you, so leaving your urine behind. No, I haven't okay, you literally just said it's only good for an hour. For you you literally just said it's only good for an hour. So you're contradicting yourself. No, drinking it. Ah. Oh, okay. So then, gas station bathrooms, urinals. Those are some of the cleanest places because it's just filled with piss, right? It's not like you're you're you have to drink it. Like, would you? They got no. They got those. They, they got no. No, hang on. If they wouldn't have used those little soapy cups in the urinals or whatever you call them. Uh, okay, cool. So let's say you find a urinal. Okay, I, I understand. Let's say you find a urinal that doesn't have those, uh, you know, freshening cups in them. There you go. And right. people just didn't bother to to flush, and it's filled up with piss. Would you like wh- before you clean your hands? Would you not use the soap, and would you just dunk your hands into the like piss that's built up, and then just rinse it off with water? Sure, you could do that. Okay, well, would you do that? I'd have no problem. I've done it with okay. my own. Okay, well, you know what? I think I've won this. I do it with my own urine. I, I've never done it at the urinal. But if you think about it, that little spot there, there isn't that much this is urine. Why, okay, this is why the coronavirus exists, by the way. Oh, yeah, because guys like you made it up. <laughs> Fauci, your, your, your hero, Dr. Fauci, Trump's right-hand man, in case you're wondering who fuck you head is. Uh, that basically three days before Honestly. he was Trump's right hand man said, "This has a death rate of less than a tenth of a percent." And yeah, then okay. he became so, Trump's right, right hand okay. man. So somebody should actually like inform the local authorities about you because like you're literally soaking your hands in piss and touching people and shit.